Hi, I'm Stefan Lattner from Sony CCL Paris, um, and most of this work has been done at the JKU in Linz. So meanwhile, this is the third talk on that model and or on these representations. Um, the model can learn um, the <coughs> gated autoencoder. I will um, show you just um, yet another application for these features the model can learn, um, which is finding repetitions in um, or transposed repetitions in music. So again, the basic idea is you can input musical sequences in in this model when it's trained and it projects these sequences into a relative um, pitch representation, which is transposition invariant. And for this task, um, I trained the model on two different data sets, like two instances of this model. Um, once it's polyphonic symbolic music in piano roll representation, and um, the other one is a constant Q representation of audio. And here is an example of such a um, polyphonic sequence um, with um, diatonically transposed repetitions in there. And if we project the sequence into the um, uh, latent space of this model, we can then just um, compute the self-similarity matrix on these uh, features. And if we detect, um, if we see here these nice red diagonals which indicate that there are repetitions in music. And if we then just detect these diagonals, we basically just detect our um, repeated um, um, themes or sections. Um, we applied um, this method to the data set that uh, Myrex task discover of repeated themes and sections, and we found for audio that, it, that we could Im improve the state of the art. So the, the left arrow points at the F-score of our model here, and uh, the other arrow um, for symbolic music, we could not quite improve the state of the art. I think uh, that's um, what we call our model is competitive. So, um, but, uh, Note that uh, at least it's, very, it's a very simple method, so um, we just search for diagonals in a self-similarity matrix. Um, the Markov oracle, which holds the, the best score here, um, is about 30 times slower than our model. So to wrap up actually our three talks, um, we showed that um, these features are very in, um, interesting features for different tasks, um, for discovery of repeated themes and sections, Andreas showed you before that um, we can use it for transposition invariant alignment um, of audio to scores. And uh, on Monday, I showed a repetitive, uh, <laughs> a recurrent version of this model and showed that it can learn structure in music and um, also transposed repetition. And I want to invite all of you to think about how these features may um, contribute or benefit your MIR task because these features are really um, decreasing the sparsity of the data, maybe um, leading to more gener generalization of the model and maybe to smaller model sizes. Um, you can just transform your data into these features and then perform your operations on this. So we could use it for different kinds of classification tasks on, on music, for transposition variant cover sound detection, speech recognition, very by humming recommender systems and so on. And before we saw um, that pitch drift is a problem in a cappella alignment, so actually with these features you might solve this problem directly. Um, the code is online, at least for audio. Um, I'm happy to also do a um, symbolic version of it. And uh, also pre-trained weights, so you can just transform your audio into these features. For more questions, visit me at my poster, thank you.